the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 283, Matthew 8-10 Jesus and a Kingdom of Priests Jesus chose his twelve disciples to be with him as well as healing and comforting the poor and the weak. First point, Jesus healed the man with leprosy and then sent him to the priest according to the regulations in a Kingdom of Priests. Matthew recorded Jesus' ministry through themes. The five main themes were feeding, hearing, teaching, forgiving, and praying. To first look at healing, Jesus healed countless people during his public life, and each time he healed someone, he told them not to tell others. However, when he healed a man with leprosy, he told him to go to a priest and show his body according to the regulations written in Leviticus. So, how long was it until this law was buried? This was until Jesus shouted, It is finished on the cross. If it was not relevant, then Jesus would not have told the man to show his body to the priest. As such, we can learn that Jesus did indeed come to fulfill the laws and the prophets. Second point, Jesus healed the people by using his own hands. The story of Jesus healing the people continues. Jesus used his two hands to heal the people. Although he had the power to heal them through command, he instead used his hands. Jesus healed a man with leprosy, Peter's mother-in-law, a young girl, a person who was deaf and could barely speak, and also a blind person. Later, Jesus took on the cross in order to save us all. There were also cases where Jesus healed the sick by commanding. Jesus healed a beloved servant of a Roman commander of a hundred who had very big faith in Jesus. Jesus healed many more others during his ministry. Third point, the four Gospels tell the story of God's burning love for the people which was described previously in the book of Hosea. During his ministry, Jesus also healed a paralyzed man. Here it is written that he forgave the paralyzed man's sins due to the faith of his friends who carried him there. All throughout, we can learn that Jesus' interest was always on the people's faith. Next, Matthew records the calling of Jesus' disciples. Tax collectors at the time were considered sinners and traitors, as they were working for the Roman Empire. However, Jesus befriended the tax collectors and made them his disciples, whereas the Pharisees thought about their righteousness and stressed the heavy yoke. Jesus spoke of God's compassion, which led many people to obey him. Fourth point, Jesus became a support for the weak in society. People in the world act weak in front of the strong, and strong in front of the weak. However, Jesus supported the weak in society all throughout his three-year public life. This image was the fulfillment of God's word through Isaiah. Jesus looked after all those who were weak and fragile in society. And a representative example was Matthew, who changed from tax collector Matthew to Jesus' disciple Matthew. Jesus spent a great deal of his time healing the people, and this included healing a woman who had been bleeding for the past 12 years. Jesus also healed a synagogue leader's daughter. Jesus furthermore healed two blind men. He also healed a mute man who was demon-possessed. However, the Pharisees did not perceive Jesus' healing ministry 
with a good eye. They failed to see that the reason Jesus healed and taught them was because they were like sheep without a shepherd. Fifth point: Jesus called his disciples and trained them for three years, so that they would be able to take on the thirty years of age. Jesus called his twelve disciples as he began his ministry. Jesus selected them and trained them for three years, as well as passing on his powers to them, and this was all in order to prepare them for the thirty years of age. They were the ones who were to lead the church. Jesus taught them how to spread the gospel, and also taught them how to be wise and to let go of fear. He also taught them to place their priority in the kingdom of God. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tong Doc app. The Tong Doc app is not like any other app in the world today, as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyango Zhou has devoted his entire life. To teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zo is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized. Like never before, to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.